Tales of the Narrow Gauge, Episode 12, Sir Handel Takes a Shortcut. Crovens Gate is the most important station on the Narrow Gauge Railway. It's where the standard gauge engines from the North Western Railway can stop to transfer their passengers and goods for the little engines to take to other places. One day, Percy had an accident. He was blocking off the narrow gauge track and none of the engines could get through until he was moved. Harvey and the Bragdown train were trying their best, but the job was taking a long time. Meanwhile, at the other end of the line, Sir Handel and Orville were talking about the accident. If you stop at Croven's Gate, said Orville, you'll be stuck for sure. I must go now. Goodbye. And he left. Just then, the guard blew his whistle and Sir Handel had to leave too, but he was thinking about how he could miss stopping at Croven's Gate. Presently, Sir Handel came to a red signal. He saw an old track leading into a canyon. All of a sudden, the signal dropped, but Sir Handel didn't move. Sir Handel told his driver to go and ask the passengers if any of them were getting off at Croven's Gate. So that's what he did. When he came back to the cab, he told Sir Handel that none of them were. Excellent, said Sir Handel. Then we can go my route. So the driver got out of the cab again and switched the points. Then Sir Handel went down the old line. Presently they left the ravine. Sir Handel could see the sheds in front of him. Hooray, he said happily, we've missed the station. By this point the tracks had been clear and Percy had been put onto a flatbed ready to be taken to the works. But Sir Handel didn't know this. He steamed proudly through the sheds and off into the distance. I wonder why he isn't stopping at the station, said Bertram thoughtfully. He decided to investigate. When Bertram arrived at the platform, there was a large group of people waiting. They told him that they'd missed Sir Handel's train. No, you haven't, said Bertram. Sir Handel didn't stop at this station. And then he went to find a coach. He had soon found one and the people climbed in. Then he left. That evening, Sir Handel went to the sheds. Bertram was already there. Have you been a useful engine today, Sir Handel? he asked. Oh, yes, replied Sir Handel grandly. I delivered my passengers on time, even with the delays at Croven's Gate. Well, I should think so, said Bertram. Considering you didn't stop there, Sir Handel was horrified. Well, why should I have stopped there, he said. Um, well, maybe because you had passengers. Just because none of your passengers needed to go there didn't mean there weren't any to get on. I had to take them to where they needed to go. Thank you, said Sir Handel. Thank you for taking them. I don't know what I would have done. Surely you would have gone into a lot of trouble with the thin controller, said Bertram. Yes, said Sir Handel, most likely. You're welcome, said Bertram. But listen to what I said. Always stop at stations on your route. I will, said Sandal.